Thank you, Senator Moran. Uh, we will next hear from Senator Cortez Masto, who is joining us virtually, I believe. Thank you, uh, Madam Chairwoman. Uh, congratulations to all three of the nominees. Uh, so appreciate your willingness to serve. Let, let me start with uh, uh, Mr. Ueda and, and uh, Mr. Lazadega. Uh, thank you uh, as well um, for everything that you've done in the past, uh, uh, supporting um, your that you've uh, committed to. Let me ask you this. We, and this is a concern that, that I think many of us have, we've seen social media uh, play a growing role in market manipulation. Um, and the SEC has actually filed civil fines over tweets in the past as a result of this. So I'm curious for the two of you, what are your thoughts about market manipulation on social media and what role should the SEC take to curb this practice? And Mr. Ueda, let's start with you. So the SEC has long-standing authority to pursue enforcement actions for manipulation of the, finance, of the securities markets. Um, social media uh, is definitely one avenue for, in which that manipulation can occur. Um, but the use of the internet uh, to engage in, uh, to manipulate prices, including in pump and dump schemes, is nothing new. The, in fact, the first, I think it was a couple decades ago when the first uh, enforcement actions were brought for the use of, of uh, internet bulletin boards, as they were called during the time, uh, to use it to uh, disseminate false and misleading information. Uh, the SEC, my experience at the SEC is that uh, there is an ever uh, expanding set of, of technological tools to identify uh, manipulative behavior. Uh, and if confirmed, uh, that's something uh, that I would be interested in, in working with to make sure that uh, the hardworking staff. Uh, have all the tools at their disposal to uh, take and investigate uh, potential market manipulation. Thank you. Mr. Lizarraga. Uh, thank you, Senator, for, for your question. Uh, I think robust enforcement uh, of our securities laws uh, lowers the risk in our capital markets, uh, protects investors, and lowers the cost of capital. Uh, to the extent that there's fraud and market manipulation wherever it occurs, uh, I think the SEC has an obligation to, to pursue that. Uh, social media does facilitate, in some instances, uh, these, these uh, violations of the law, and um, I believe in prioritizing enforcement actions uh, that address that. And, I, and I recently, as you may be aware, Chairman Gensler added some resources to the enforcement division to address uh, some uh, issues related to this, to, to, the digital space, which may also include uh, monitoring what happens on social media. Thank you. Mr. Barr, let's talk cybersecurity. We haven't had a chance to talk that yet. Um, uh, as you well know, uh, banks and our other financial institutions in many ways are on the front lines uh, of the growing rise in crime happening in cyberspace. Our nation's banks uh, must take appropriate uh, risk mitigation from incursions, from bad actors, both domestically and abroad. And so can you talk a little bit about your experience uh, in cybersecurity and data privacy and safety and what role cybersecurity plays in fostering stability, integrity, and efficiency in our economy? Uh, thank you very much uh, for that question, Senator. Uh, cybersecurity is really uh, essential um, for risk mitigation, uh, risk management, and the financial system. A uh, cyber risk is a, a very urgent risk. Uh, it's with us today. Uh, and I think it's quite critical that both the Federal Reserve and the other uh, federal uh, regulatory agencies uh, and the financial sector itself uh, continue to invest and, and try and stay ahead of the curve. Uh, it is a, a, a constant process. Um, my own experience with cybersecurity relates to my work at the U.S. Treasury Department, um, where I oversaw, among other things, the Office of Critical Infrastructure Policy. Uh, and I've also done work with um, uh, firms engaged in uh, anti-fraud and, and other measures. And I've written about the need um, for international uh, coordination on uh, efforts uh, to uh, address uh, risks uh, from cybersecurity in a way that uh, continues competition and advances the ability of financial institutions uh, to serve 
uh, countries around the world. So it, it's an issue that is uh, quite central and I'd be focused on. Great, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, thank you again and congratulations. Thank you, Senator Cortez Masto. We'll now 